Let's take a closer look at the tanks. Um, what's, what could be sent? What are they? What, what would it mean? Yeah, so um, if UK, uh, Ukraine's going to move from defence to offence, it needs to have tanks. That, that, that's a simple one. Tanks are really complex, but let's do the Janet and John version. Tanks are all about how much defensive armour you've got, in other words, how survival and how powerful your gun is at the front of it. Uh, modern tanks are, are blistering with armour and powerful guns, but the T-64, which is used in Ukraine, was designed in the 60s, was really obsolete by the 80s, and just doesn't hack it. And if rumours to be believed, there's rumours about 3,000 of these tanks have been destroyed in the battlefield. So they're, they're not the answer. Um, the, the sort of tanks that are being considered at the moment, if we go through it in a sort of top Trump's way, um, Challenger 2 from the UK... Uh, entered service in the 90s. I think we've got a picture of it in a moment. Um, Challenger 2. Um, it's got chopper armour, it's got a rifle barrel, so it's very, very capable modern tank. The downside, it's got bespoke ammunition uh, and the factory that makes it, I understand, is closed down at the moment. There's also very limited numbers of these available and therefore the offer that the UK has made is only 5% of the number that uh, President Zelensky wants. And he, Zelensky probably wants one mark of tank, not just loads of different ones. If we look at the Abrahams, which is the American uh, model, uh, this entered service in the 1980s. Again, it's got Chobham armour, very powerful. There's over 9,000 of these being uh, made uh, over the years, so there's plenty available there. Downside is it's, it, it's ruthless with fuel. It gets through fuel very quickly. Any tank is less than one mile a gallon, but this is 50% worse than any of the modern tanks on the battlefield. Um, so, and also, the, the time taken to get these tanks from America in and then the training, it's quite complicated. Leopard 2 is the final one. Uh, entered service in 1979. Uh, there are over 2,000 of these in service with over 13 different countries. So it does meet the numbers game. It's got a good, good gun, good, good armour. The only negative is that the only way that people can give them on is if the Germans provide this export licence. So in, um, in summary, the Challenger 2 is good, not enough numbers. Both the Abrahams and the Leopard 2 meet the requirements. Almost certainly the politics behind this is if America was to provide the Abrahams tank, then it's providing the one bit of offensive capability to Ukraine that's going to be fighting Russia. And that starts to play to the Russian agenda of this is a battle between an America and Russia. Whereas if the Leopard 2 was to put into the theatre, it becomes more coherent with the European support for the Ukrainian position. Mm. OK. Um, Lloyd Austin, talking in Germany, has said that this is a decisive moment. Ukraine has asked for 300 tanks. If they're given to them, would that be a turning point for the war, do you think? The short answer is yes. The difficulty is how many you need, and that's almost an impossible question to answer. Most military pundits are talking about 300 being the right sort of number, but whether or not in the future they'd want more, that's another matter. The real key question is whether they get delivered in time, because it's not just about getting the tanks in, it's having all the training that's required in time for the spring offensive, and most military commentators say we're really up against the stops now. The reason this will be decisive as well is the Kremlin's been issuing threats to the West over the last few days because it realises what a big impact these modern tanks could, could have. And it just shows why today's meeting in Ramstein is just so important. It's not about one of the old meetings of lots of nations throwing weapons on the table to try and help Ukraine. This is a decisive moment of moving Ukraine from the defence to the offence offense, and creating the foundations for the next chapter of this war.